Hi, Tina. This is Aka Judy, Auntie, Grandma Judy. I just have to make a video response to this. First of all, darling, I'm so happy that things didn't turn out worse at your house. All of us who are moms, we know our children do some silly stuff sometimes, and sometimes it can cost our lives. So you show you how wonderful God is. God had you home to take care of that situation. He really did. And I just want to make this video to tell you how much I love you. And I'm always happy whenever I see you on the screen. Because you're my mentor. You're one of them. And um, I just love you so much. Everyone else loves you. And uh, fires are something not to be played with. So I just want to make a video response to tell you how much I love you. To tell you that I'm so happy that everything worked out. A mom has to do what a mom has to do. That's that adrenaline, baby. Because I know sometimes uh, we mothers and dads can just come to the rescue. We get strength from we don't know where we get strength from. And that was so sweet of your son to come in that next morning and let you know that he had made a deadly mistake. It could have been a deadly mistake. So this is just an uh, audio video to you to tell you how much I really love you and to tell you that I'm so glad that God kept you and your family safe. You're a lot of fun. I really enjoy watching you. Like I say, I'm 70 years old, and don't worry about the cursing. A little beep comes in my head anyway when I watch all of you who got the little potty mouths. Hell, I got a potty mouth. The problem is I just don't put it out there because that's not how I roll. Uh, but uh, potty mouth and all, I love you. And you're, you're getting better with the potty mouth. I want to give you credit. You're, you're getting better. But, Tina, you got to be you. And um, all I've got to say is, oh, thank God nothing ever happened to you. I mean, that typing, I could type a few words in the comments, but I just had to come on here and tell you that, you know, a mom has to do what a mom has to do. I think Tony was probably just in shock because sometimes people get in shock and they just don't know what to do. You got in shock too a little bit, but you knew what you had to do. And moving that dresser out, that was the, a smart thing because in the middle of the night when you all were sleeping, that fire could have started up again. And we learned something from this, Tina, also. People need to keep a fire extinguisher ready for the go in the house. Um, and... Um, you know, because fire can happen at any time. Uh, I think I've given some people some advice that always by your bed, keep um, a bug out bag. That's a bag with your important papers in it. Because you ain't going to have time to find that when you have to leave a house real quick with a fire. Your credit cards, your debit cards, so you can go into a hotel or something like that. And in my car, I also keep a suitcase packed with extra clothes because you never know when you have to run out the house and you ain't got nothing on or just the, 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 the blanket around you. So thank you, Tina. In what happened to you, I hope that was a lesson to everybody who listens to you and who drops in to say, be prepared. Fire don't love anybody. And it goes so quickly, so quickly. And people do get disorientated. I remember I was visiting a guy one time and I looked out the window. This is when I was younger. And I saw flames coming out the next window, his neighbor's next door. And I told him, I said, there's a fire next door. Now, this guy lived in the building. I think this is the first time I had ever come up to his house. We ran out the building, and he was running me into his neighbor's house where the fire was. And I said, no, I had to come up the stairs to come to your house. So I went down the stairs. This fool told me, oh, wait, I got to go back and get something. He went back in to get some clothing and some record albums. Can you believe that? People, when it's a fire and you get out, you go. I was down the street at my car. And then he comes up running with his record albums and some clothing. And I says, man, 
you can you could have died. So people do silly stuff. And this was a man, and he ran back into his apartment to get some record albums and some clothing and some shoes. Can you believe that? People pack what you want in cases of fire and have that right by your bed so you can jump out and run, and that's it. But uh, Tina, again, I'm saying I'm so thankful. You're looking beautiful, baby. I'm so thankful that everything came out okay for you. And this is just for you. Uh, this video is just for you. Love you. And uh, may God keep you safe. And I know what you mean by reading nonfiction. I like that audible.com, those books. And uh, you can look on my playlists and some of the videos I've made. And I've put some very good authors out there. I like... Um, it's a, a, a brother. He's about 82 years old. You'll like him. His name is uh, Sowell, Thomas Sowell, like S-O-W-L-L. -L. He's an economist. You'll like him. I love Ayala Vassant. I love all the sisters that, writes the, that write the books. I'm a writer, too, but I'm a closet writer, so... You'll get my stuff once I'm dead. My daughter promises to change the names and everything. Because just like you are so brutally honest, I'm brutally honest too. But the problem with me, rather than go woof, 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 woof at people, I shut down. I'm quiet. I let go and let God. And I'm going to tell you, man, God whispers to my back and say, baby, relax. I got this. I got this. And anybody does anything to me, you know as a human, I want to right up in their face, but God tells me, baby, I got this. And you know what, Tina? He does have it. All we got to do is just sit back and go for the ride. You have been blessed. I have been blessed. And I put you on mute just to let people know this is for Tina. This is for Tina. That's Tina fighting that fire. And uh, thank God, I've, I've had a fire too, but I wasn't in it. I was away from home when it happened. But um, fire don't play. And the fire I had was just trying to live in the ghetto. And my ghetto neighbors uh, broke into my house and robbed it and everything. So they set the fire to cover it up. And these were people that I had been nice to, that I'd helped them and everything. And someone told me, well, maybe that's why they did it, because they know you had so much. I mean, since when, because people have so much, you got to break in their house, steal their stuff, and set it on fire. Does that make you have so much? Because I had insurance, and when them big insurance payments was gone, hey, that check said my name on it. It didn't say yours. So I'm very blessed that God has made me the kind of person that no matter what happens to me, I know God's going to take care of it. Now, the devil's always talking to you on one side, telling you, do this, do this, do that. But when you get in trouble, the devil's going to be gone. He's going to be over in the corner cracking up. The only person that's going to stick with you all the time, and I'm not preaching religion here, but God is the only one going to stick to your side. And, you know, you can do little nasty things and, and, and think nobody knows. I'm just talking about people in general. But God knows what you do. People only know one side of you, but God knows the 360 degree of you. So, again, Tony, uh, Tina, I am so glad that everything worked out. And, you know, in 2013... You're going to get those condominiums for your children. Everything you want is going to work out. And you don't have to explain nothing of your, about your life to anybody because they don't have to explain their life to you. You keep working it, baby. You keep doing it. You keep keeping it 100%. And you know Grandma Judy loves you. And nobody ever better mess with my Tina. No one better ever mess with my Tina. I'm here for you. I got your back, too, and God got our back. Okay, Tina. Love to Tina. Love to all the people that follow Tina. Love to all the people who hate Tina. Because we shall overcome. We will win. Uh, love you, love you, love you, love you. Can't say love you enough. You got this old lady's blessings. Okay. Love you.